Good morning, guys. So today is Sunday. It's the last day in February. And I decided that for the month of March, I was going to be putting together like a morning book basket for the kids for homeschool. So I've spent like the last week getting some things together. And I thought that I would share with you um, just the things that I put in there and hopefully that information is helpful. Here is the basket that I put together. I got this little white toe at Walmart. I think it was like $3. And then I just decorated it with a little rainbow for St. Patrick's Day. So this is what I got in here. Um, my husband's boss gave us like these little, um, I guess they're kind of like activity bags from her church. She gave us one this winter and then we just got the new spring bag. So it comes with a memory verse for each child um, just for them to memorize. Um, it also comes with these, which we really liked the winter one. Um, it just comes with like a really easy little reader. Um, definitely something Oakley can read to bear it in the morning. And then this is like a little um, daily devotional. It starts March 21st, I believe. Um, but it just gives you some things to read and some little activities. So we really liked the one that we got for winter. So I'm excited to start that. I got two... Um, like chapter books um, from the library that are leprechaun themed and so I'll be reading those to Oakley um, this month. Um, this will probably probably be a little easy for her um, but it's just good practice. Um, so along with like St. Patrick's Day it's also Dr. Seuss's birthday so I threw in just some books that we already had some of these were Michael's when he was a kid, so they're in a little rough condition. Um, but these are just some really easy ones that she can read in the morning if she'd like. And then I ordered online from the library, like, all of the St. Patrick's themed, leprechaun themed books that I could get. So I got this one, a little book about Ireland. Um, I got these two books, which is, like, a book full of, like, how to build a leprechaun trap and even though my kids know that leprechauns aren't real I thought it'd be fun to put um, some of those together just some craft ideas and then just a few more books I had a hard time finding like children's books that like gave real information about St. Patrick um, so I might have to find something online about that so just some really fun books that we'll read throughout the month um, this is the calendar that came with that um, little goodie bag from the church. It just gives you little ideas on what to do and like what passages to read in your Bible. And then they, I can sign off on these for the kids and then they send them in and get a little prize. Um, and then the last thing that I did was just got this folder to put together. And it just has like some fun worksheets um, this is Barrett's side. This is Oakley's. So I have like a Dr. Seuss word search. I have, um, they each got a map of Ireland that they can color. And I got one for each kid. And then, oh my goodness, my fingers are too dry. And then just the like, draw your face on a leprechaun. So these were all free printables that I found online. I'll link those below to what websites I used. Um, and I'll probably end up printing a few more throughout the month. So that is my little March book basket. So I know that wasn't a lot, but that is everything that I put together for the March book basket. I'm hoping to put them together every month. Um, going along with like um, different uh, holidays or like special events because um, I think that'll be kind of beneficial for the kid and it's kind of fun for me to put together too. Um, all those books that you saw minus the Dr. Seuss books were all just from the local library. Our library is closed right now but you can order books online um, which is kind of nice for me since we do live in a small town and we don't necessarily have a large library so they can pull books from other surrounding libraries. So if that's something that you can do in your area, I would definitely suggest checking it out. It's really nice to have um, a bigger um, selection. Thank you guys again for taking the time out of your day to watch my videos. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys have a great first day of March. Bye.